Good day learners. Today we're going to look at another important topic. Problems and solutions of agricultural development in Nigeria. At the end of this lesson, learners are expected to be able to identify and discuss various problems of agricultural development in Nigeria. State possible solutions to the identify problems. Problem number one, land tenure system. High population reduces the size of farmland. Type and land tenure system discourages farmers from acquiring land for large-scale farming. Sometimes the land are fragmented. What are the solutions? Fertilizers and manure should be used to increase production on available land. The land use decree should fully be implemented to minimize the problem of land tenure system. Problem number two, inadequate finance. Most subsistence farmers are poor and do not have finance to make purchase of farm inputs. Farmers do not have collateral security to enable them to secure loans and sometimes diverse such loans when obtained. What are the solutions to this problem? Farmers should form cooperative society for easy procurement of loans from commercial banks. Banks should reduce their high interest rate to encourage borrowing by farmers. Agricultural banks should make loans available to farmers. Poor transportation. Presence of bad roads or lack of it makes distribution of produce to market difficult and leads to wastage. The number of motor vehicles are inadequate because of high cost of vehicles, machinery and spare parts. What are the solutions to this problem? Construction of new feeder roads to open up the rural areas and rehabilitation of existing damaged roads. Construction of railways or waterways into areas not accessible. Construction of motor vehicles, boats and trains to facilitate the distribution of farm produce. Problem number four. Inadequate storage and processing facilities. This forces farmers to produce just enough for their family and discourage them from large scale farming. There is lack of technical know how on food storage and processing. Solutions Storage facilities should be provided by the government. More people should be trained on the technology of food storage and processing. Training farmers on constructing locally need storage facilities like creep, processing facilities like cassava grater ETC should be encouraged. Inadequate farm inputs. Available farm inputs are of inferior qualities, outdated and crude. Farm inputs, even if they are available, are not supplied to the farmers. Solution to this problem. Farm inputs should be made available in adequate quantities to farmers. Government should subsidize the cost of farm inputs. Establishment of tractor hearing units at affordable cost should be made available for farmers and seed service for the production and distribution of improved seeds should be made available to farmers. Problems of pests and diseases. Pests and diseases reduce the yield of agricultural produce. They also reduce the quality of the produce. Pests and diseases also reduce the income of the farmers. Farmers are thereby discouraged from production. Solution to these problems. Insecticides and other chemicals used in the control of pests 
and diseases should be made supply as subsidized rates to the farmers. Pest and Diseases Control Units or Department should be established to control pests and diseases. Farmers should be trained on easy identification and prevention and control of pests and diseases. Poor Marketing System There are no organized marketing channels for farm produce. Poor marketing of produce discourages more production and local farmers. I mean by local farmers. There are also problems of fluctuation in the price of agricultural produce. What are the solutions to this problem? Government should buy excess produce from the farmers. Government should stabilize prices of farm produce in the country. Commodity boards should be established to help organize the marketing of agricultural produce. Inadequate basic amenities. Lack of basic amenities like electricity, pipe and water, and proper health care makes able bodied men and youth migrate from rural to urban areas in search of jobs. Solution Provision of electricity in rural areas, provision of portable and drinkable water. Provision of health care centers in rural areas. Provision of storage and processing facilities to rural farmers. Establishment of dams to facilitate irrigation agriculture in rural areas. Inconsistent government policies on agriculture is also one of the major problems facing agricultural development in Nigeria. Inconsistent government policies on agriculture reduce agricultural development. These policies fail to recognize the peasant farms that produce food for the country. Most of the agricultural policies are centered on fake city farmers who only collect money and use them for other purposes. Pro solutions. Dynamic agricultural policies should be formulated and implemented. The policy should recognize the true and genuine farmers. Government should formulate policies that should allow private participation in agriculture and all policies on agriculture should be properly implemented. Inadequate tools and machinery. Farm tools and machinery like plows, harrows, tractors and planters are grossly inadequate. The use of simple farm tools like cutlass and hoe leads to low agricultural production, that is, output per unit time is low. And most local farmers are very poor that they cannot afford to buy farm tools and implements. Solution to this problem Local fabrication of farm machinery and equipment should be encouraged by government to make farm implements suitable to local conditions and to be made available to farmers. Farmers should form cooperative societies to enable them to pool their resources together and purchase farm implements and machines. Provision of loans or credit facilities to farmers. Provision of subsidies to enable farmers to purchase modern equipment and tools. Reasons why agriculture has not been fully mechanized in Nigeria. Reason number one, small farm holding land fragmentation or land tenure system does not permit mechanization. The farming system currently practiced do not encourage mechanization. There are no access roads for machines. It is costly or expensive to hire machines and most farmers are poor. High running cost of for machinery discourages mechanization. Inadequate capital or credit facilities. There is low level of technical know-how about machinery. There is inadequate extension service or education for farmers. Revision questions. Question number one. Discuss six problems of agricultural development in Nigeria and suggest one possible solution to each of the problems. 
discuss briefly the ways in which the following factors contribute to the problems of agricultural development in Nigeria. Finance, that's A, B, farm interest, C, transportation. Question number three, discuss the effect of rural and urban migration on agricultural production. If you find it difficult to answer these revision questions, go over the video again. Thank you for this, for being on this platform. Have a great day.